Welcome back to Keep It Local. Do you have a dog with bad manners that you absolutely love, but you just can't get him or her to stop jumping up on people at the front door? Or maybe you can't get them to stop eating from the table because you used to feed them snacks? Well, Cor Harlan is standing in for Mike Donahue in the studio today, and he's going to show us exactly what to do to get rid of all of those problems. Right, Cor? Well, that's a, the theory Everyone. anyway, and a lot of this, this is, first of all, <laughs> let me introduce Al Holzer. He is with uh, the uh, Bark Busters Home Dog Training, right? Right? You That's go to correct. you go to people's houses and you train people or train dog. Well, you do train people a lot too yeah. to get the dogs out of the bad habits. The first one I want to talk about, and we've talked about this, the theme running through all of good dog behaviors is that the human is the pack leader in all of this, and the dog needs to know somehow that he or she is not. Correct? That's correct. Dogs have been domesticated 12,000 years or so. Mm -hmm. They still have those canine wolf instincts, and they need a good strong pack leader. And if they don't have that, they can have behavioral issues. The first one is dogs jumping up at the door. Now, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Your cure for, uh, for, uh, for dogs not jumping up to people or barking when they come to the front door is what? Actually growling at the dog a little bit? Well, we do a lot of different things, and we're teaching the owner that the owner should be protecting the dog. The dog does, does not need to protect the owner. Right. And a lot of times when dogs are on alert and they think they have to answer the front door, they think they're the leader of the pack. So the, 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 door, the door knocks, the doorbell goes off. What do you do? Yeah, as the owner? As the owner. We teach the owner to do a lot of things to talk dog, to speak in dog language. One of them is a growl. Sounds like this. Bah. Okay, so we have the owner growl. The dog goes, you're speaking my language. The dog gets it. Uh -huh. The problem usually is solved with that and some other things that we teach the owners. Mm -hmm. Second thing is a real bad habit a dogs have is jumping up on, on people when they come. Yeah. You don't step on their feet. Now, I mean, now a lot of people do that. We don't do anything physical. Nothing we don't physical. believe in it. It's all humane. Uh -huh. But dogs that jump up aren't just being friendly. I love to see you. Oh, it's great to be. Right. That's a dominant behavior because uh -huh. height in the canine brain is also dominant. So when the dog jumps up, it's gaining height. All right. It thinks it's the pack leader. And we can usually fix that problem in a minute to five minutes, and that's it. Really? And then the dog, when it thinks about jumping, will catch itself and not jump. So you really, it's all about teaching the owners. The dogs are usually easy. Right. The owners are the challenge. About 30 seconds left. L getting your dog to listen is a problem my mom has with her five dogs all the time. How briefly can you, can you get a dog to listen to you when it doesn't want to? Well, if the dog's not listening to you, the dog is not respecting you, mm -hmm. okay? So it's all about teaching the dog about trust and respect and love. And so that, again, stems back to the owner sending the right cues to the dog about who's in charge. Mm -hmm. So the dog goes, ah, you're the boss. Right. I can relax. I don't need to take on that role. And I'll listen to you and respond to you. Because by definition, if you're the leader, they should listen to you. Al Holzer with the Bark Busters Home Dog Training and Oscar, the very uh, well-behaved uh, big poodle on the ground here. Thanks very much, Priya. It is all about, it is all about uh, being the pack leader if you're a human and not letting the dog be the pack leader, if that makes any sense. Who's the boss? That's the question. All right, Cora, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Now, coming up, we're going to take you on a tour inside Dove Lewis's emergency room. You'll see what they do here and how they do it. Plus, why a mom is mad at a school after her son comes down with swine flu. That's coming up in the news headlines. And on this Friday, we're, of course, thinking about the weekend. Will the sunshine hold? We'll have the answer when we come back.